Dear students, I will now discuss with you the concept of the 100 into pth percentile of a continuous random variable. ये जो मैंने आपसे कहा 100 into pth percentile इसी को हम pth quantile या quantile of order p इसको ये भी कह सकते हैं. So let me define it for you. In a formal manner, uh, consider the number p, which lies between zero and one. So, a quantile of order p of the distribution of a random variable x, it is a value xi p such that the probability that the random variable x is less than Xi p is less than or equal to p, and the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to Xi p is greater than or equal to p. ये जो कुछ मैंने अभी कहा, इसमें आपने नोट कर लिया होगा कि p is representing the probability, जो के continuous variable के केस में it is represented by the area under the curve और जब हम quantile की बात करते हैं तो ये कौन सा area होता है the area which is to the left of that quantile दूसरी बात आप ये note करें कि अगर इस number p को यानी इस probability p को आप 0.5 के बराबर रख दें तो जो मैंने अभी आपके सामने definition रखी वो क्या बन जाती है the probability that the random variable capital X is less than xi 0.5 has to be less than or equal to 0.5 and the probability that the random variable capital X is less than or equal to xi of 0.5 is greater than or equal to 0.5 so aapne dekha ke this is exactly the definition of the median क्योंकि मीडियन में आपको मालूम ही है कि वो हाफ होता है वहां पे जो हमने अब पी की जगह 0.5 रखा और वो हमें मिला अच्छा चलिए अब हम आगे चलते हैं ये बात करती हूं कि ये जो पीएथ क्वांटाइल है इसको हम 100 इनटू पीएथ परसेंटाइल क्यों कहते हैं देखिए बात ये है कि द पीएथ Quantile, rather, let me say the quantile of order p is that point on the x-axis to the left of which the area under the curve is equal to p. Now, if I'm saying that the area is equal to p, for example, if it is 0 0.2, you get total area under the curve, you know, has to be equal to 1. उसका एक पोर्शन है तो जाहिर है कि इट विल बी 0. पॉइंट समथिंग सो इफ इट इज 0. पॉइंट टू लेट मी मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर 0. पॉइंट टू बाय हंड्रेड एंड डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड एज वेल सो 0. पॉइंट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड हाउ मच इज दैट दैट इज ट्वेंटी अब ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड तो इसको हम अगर पढ़ें तो हम यू भी तो पढ़ सकते हैं ना कि ट्वेंटी ओवर हंड्रेड या ट्वेंटी पर हंड्रेड या ट्वेंटी पर सेंट क्योंकि सेंट मीन्स हंड्रेड तो क्या बना ट्वेंटी पर सेंट तो देखा आपने कि जो जीरो पॉइंट टू एथ क्वांटाइल है दैट इज द सेम थिंग एज द ट्वेंटी एथ परसेंटाइल तो इसलिए जब भी किसी किताब में आप 100 into p p th percentile पढ़ें, तो you don't have to get confused. It's very very simple. अगली बात ये है कि अगर हम इसको apply करने लगें, तो हम इसको solve कैसे करेंगे? That will be by taking the integral and equating it to the value of p. उसी premise पे कि जब आप continuous की बात करते हैं, तो वो जो दो conditions हैं, they become equivalent to one lone condition, and which what is that? 
the probability of capital X being less than Xi P, which is the same as the probability of X being less than or equal to Xi P, uh, that has to be equal to P. So, ye probability kaise niklegi? By taking the integral from minus infinity up to Xi P and equating that integral to P. Let me give you an example. Suppose that the PDF is given by f of x is equal to 4x cubed and x is going from 0 to 1 and we want to find the 20th percentile or in other words the quantile of order 0 0.2. So, hum simply 0 se leke xi 0 0.2 tak integrate karenge. Is wale ko 0 se shuru karenge na? Because minus infinity se ye khudi shuru nahi ho raha. It is starting from 0. So, therefore, we then, we also start from 0. So, as you can now see on the screen, uh, the integral of 4x cube from 0 to xi 0 0.20 has to be equated to 0 0.20. And solving it very, very, very simply, because you know that x cube ka integral x raised to 4 over 4, which is attached 4 uske saath attached hai, that will cancel out. So, this is easily solve. Ho jata hai, and what do we finally get? We get xi 0 0.20 is equal to 0 0.20 raised to 1 by 4. And what is that equal to? That is equal to 0.67. So, therefore, we conclude that for this particular uh, density function, the shape of which is now in front of you on the screen, the 20th percentile is given by 0 0.67 and the remaining area, the area which is beyond that percentile, that is obviously 0 0.80. So, this is the mechanism for finding any percentile of a continuous random variable.